Hey y'all, Jen Hernandez, Loan with Jen. So today we are with Luisa of Decent Consulting Services. It is a credit restoration company and you do not want to miss this. What's the difference between restoration and repair? We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So what is the difference between credit restoration and credit repair? I have the expert here right now. Louisa, tell us. So the difference is repair and restoration. Restoration is actually a far more legally aggressive process in okay. which we dispute all three credit bureaus at the same time, not one at a time. So then what is repair? Just patching it or what? Repair, sometimes people can get caught up in, there's like a 30 day fix or that's a myth that they can get something fixed in 30 days and okay. legally speaking, restoration means we get attorneys involved, there is a legal, under the Fair Credit Reporting Act of 1971, there has to be a response in writing by the credit bureaus uh, as a way of response to the dispute letters. So would an example be like we see all the time people that have a ton of stuff disputed on their report, like they've talked to a credit person and there's a bunch of disputes. Is that an example of repair or restoration or both? I think the difference is restoration is going to not just put things into dispute, they're going to delete those items that are in dispute. In the credit restoration. So credit restoration. Right. So uh, decents, do you repair or do you restore? We restore. Okay. We go to great lengths to restore, so we're kind of considered the pit bull in the industry. Okay. Ooh, nice. Pit bull. Um, so that's what makes y'all different? What, what makes you different? The other thing is we have a huge educational piece. So whether people come to us or whether they go to somebody else, I think it's important that they understand and educate themselves on the differences between restore and uh, repair so that they know that they're getting that legal added advantage with okay. the dispute process. Okay. Awesome. And then finally, what if someone's looking at a credit restoration, what should they typically expect to spend? Like what's what's a fair you know, assessment? I can tell you that one of the things that we do is we don't bind people into a contract. So look for people that may not offer you a contract. Make sure that you're not paying more than say eighty nine, a hundred dollars a month. Anything higher than that might, you know, be a question. And certainly do not pay somebody a whole bunch of money up front. That is always a no no. We've seen that before where people say, oh, I, ha I just paid someone 1500 or 2000 up front. What, so what's, what's the pro and the con of doing it on a monthly basis? Well, the monthly basis is we're actually working for you. So, you know, okay. we have to earn our keep, so to speak. Um, but what I'm concerned about is somebody going to a repair company that is going to charge them anywhere from two to three to $5,000. That's a big no-no. And in many states, that is soon to be outlawed. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, nice. So today we are talking about credit restoration versus repair. Contact Louisa, we'll put your contact information at the end of this if you have any questions specifically. I hope you learned something today and we'll talk to you soon. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.